Welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to quickly talk about responsiveness in Material UI. To add responsive values for a CSS property, you can use the breakpoints shorthand syntax. Let me explain with an example. Let's create a new file called muiresponsiveness.tsx. Within the file, create a new component. At the top, import the box component from Material UI and in the JSX, invoke the box component. Let's add a few styles. So SX prop height is going to be 300 pixels, width 300 pixels, background color primary dot main. If we include this component in app component, and take a look at the browser, you can see the box component being displayed. At the moment, the width is fixed at 300 pixels. If we want this to be responsive and change based on the viewport width, we can make use of the five breakpoints that MUI provides. The syntax is as follows. For the width CSS property, we specify the value as an object. The keys for this object will be the five breakpoints and the value will be the corresponding width. Let's set XS to 100, SM to 200, MD to 300, LG 400, and XL 500. Let me also add the corresponding width for the breakpoint. Here, excess width of 100 pixels applies when viewport width is above 0. SM width of 200 pixels applies when viewport width is 600 and above. Similarly, MD is for 900 and above, LG is for 1200 and above, and finally, XL is for 1536 and above. Let's head to the browser and test it out. At the moment, the current viewport width, which you can see top right, is 1000 pixels. Hence, the width of the box is 300. This is what we have specified in our code as well. From 900 pixels to 1200 pixels, the width has to be 300 pixels. If I reduce the width below 900, So 899, if you could see it right here, you can see the width is now 200 pixels. Similarly, if I reduce the screen width below 600 pixels, you can see the box width is now 100 pixels. So the box component has a responsive width. This is pretty much the basic concept behind specifying responsive values in MUI. Let me quickly show you a couple of examples in the docs where this is used for other properties. Under components, if you take a look at the stack component, if we scroll down to responsive values, you can see for the direction property, excess, it is set to column, whereas SM and above, it is set to row. Similarly, spacing for XS, it is set to one, SM, it is set to two, and for MD, it is set to four. If we head over to the grid component, you can once again see different values for XS and MD. This is how responsiveness is handled in MUI. I would recommend you spend a few minutes to go through these examples to get a better understanding of how they function. 
All right, hopefully you've got an idea of how responsiveness works with Material UI. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.